and Jerry Lewis. Presented by the Colgate Palm Olive Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream. Ajax Cleanser. And Palm Olive Soap. Jerry Lewis Show with Jane Morgan and Fosse and Isle. Musical direction by Dick Stabile. Written by Ed Simmons and Norman Lear. Dance and stage by Fosse and Isle. Settings by Theodore Cooper. NBC production supervisor Sam Fuller. Television director Kingman T. Moore. Produced and directed by Ernest D. Glucksman. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have reached the finals in our annual bathing beauty contest. Today we pick Miss C. Nymph of 1951. As for our judges, we have secured two of the greatest authorities on feminine pulchritude. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you our judges, the men who knew women best, Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. <laughs> Take the second one. No, don't stand there. Not the girls. We want the girls to walk around almost. Oh, with the yeah. Room. We're the finalists. Bring out the girls. Let's look at the girls. Bring out the finalists. Finalists. Are you big, big, beautiful doll? Oh, yeah. Put my arms around your eyes. Put my arms around your eyes. Put my arms around your eyes. I'll take three of these. What about that? I'll take four of these. Good boy. I have to read. Wow, there we go. Come on, let's read your buddy. Hurry up. Okay, I can't wait. Here we go. I can't wait to pick the winner. <laughs> we rate a decision. You yeah. Have, you have picked the winner? Yeah, yes. we got the winner. We got, we picked Miss Greenpoint. That's awesome. We don't have a Miss Greenpoint. There she is, Miss Greenpoint. <laughs> she's very nice, really, when you get to know her. She's very nice. Yeah, but who wants to know her? I like it, I like it. How do you feel about winning, honey? I'm flabbergasted. She's flabbergasted. This is preposterous. She can't win this contest. Oh, yeah, she can. She won it fair and square, didn't you, Geneva? I sure did. And thanks an awful lot, Cousin Jerry! Cousin Jerry! <laughs> You always have to slip in. I was figuring Aunt Jean would be in there, you know. No, I'm... Aunt Jean wasn't in the no. contest. No, I, I didn't want to tell you she was my cousin because she gave me a couple dollars. Why do you always do things like this to me, dear? I try to treat you like a, a great humane, and you do a thing like this to me. Well, I'm sorry, Dean. I just wanted to help her out. You know, she ain't very pretty, and people don't look at us. I thought if she won a contest, maybe she'd be the belle of the bull. <laughs> 
Now, you forget that I even endorsed you, and you go over and tell La Crosse, because this kid, you're going to introduce a number for me. Oh, yeah, you go get ready for your number. I'll tell them all about the number, all right? All righty. Bye. Bye. La ladies and gentlemen, no, don't laugh. This is, what is it? I got to get over here. What, what is it with you guys? Just because you wear an earphone, you can direct people around. Maybe I don't want to go over there. <laughs> look at where they put me on a small little stage. No, look at that, a tiny little stage. How much can you do here? <laughs> now, over there, there's a big, beautiful stage. Look at what they give me here. You think this is a beautiful curtain? Nah, look at this. <laughs> when you're not working for these people. <laughs> Anyhow, oh, he's out of work now, so they keep him in here to warm up. <laughs> Next week, you'll see Eddie Cannon on a Colgate Comedy Hour, a great performer, a wonderful guy. You should look in. He's got a wonderful show. <laughs> now, Kimberly, I would like to say right here that my partner's going to do it. Are you, you're not close enough, are you? Can you see Abby? Can you see all of me? Because I want they to see. I just had my upper lip fixed. I had trouble with that. I want everyone to see. Let me ask you something. Do you find cleaning your bathtub downright drudgery? I did. Until three little friends of mine told me about Ajax Cleanser. Use Ajax! Boom, boom. Colgate's new Ajax cleans all bathroom surfaces up to 50% faster. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Get things clean, just like a whiz. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Wash the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no gritty cleanser gum in tub or sink. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Wash the dirt right down the drain. Ajax, the new scouring cleanser, foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes with half the effort. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax! Remember, Ajax cleans tubs, sinks, pots and pans, too. Twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. So get two cans. One for the kitchen and one to keep in your bathroom. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. and comfy. Thank you, nurse. When's the doctor gonna show up? Oh, he should be along any moment. You uh, just be nice. Ah, good morning. <laughs> nurse, how do you feel this morning? Oh. That's nice. Oh, how do you feel this morning, Bob? Oh, pretty good, doctor. Yeah, you look all right. Look a little better this morning, you know? I said, well, I think we can take the cast off in a couple of days. Oh, that's fine. That's all right. Uh, well, nurse, have you seen a new orderly around? Yes, he's around here someplace. Well, I wish he'd get here. We would like to use this man, you know. I know. I, we'd like to use him. What is this? What's happening here? Good morning, breakfast lovers. <laughs> My son at 2D. All right, no visitors. Get out of here. I got to go to the basement. Let me see. Well, Mr. Miller, you look a lot better. How's the lady? <laughs> Oh, you're still in a little pain? Well, we're going to have to take oh. care of that. Here, here, now, no noise. Ow, 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 ow. No, no, no ow, noise, ow, ow, Mr. Miller. Ow. Nurse, prepare for surgery immediately. And get some hot water and blankets right away. Will you get... I'm not well. <laughs> now, come on, let's straighten this bed out here. Yeah, look, we got to straighten out the bed. I'm, I'm the sorry. Doctor. I'm sorry, Dr. Martin. I didn't notice you. I lift him up. Lift him up. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey, I'm in the No, you know, Doctor, I didn't know. You see? No, all right, let, let. All right. No, I... Oh. All right. You all right, Doctor? Oh. Oh, shut up. I'm going to examine you. Come no, in. I'm all right, 
Take off your clothes. Here! I don't even know you. Take off your clothes. I will not, sir. Take them all off. Right now? Yes, sir. we. Yes, we are. Is this, is this important? This is real important. All righty. <laughs> You're not supposed to eat those things. I like it. I like it. That's, that's, that's your reflexes, right? Reflexes. Yeah, that's important. Ain't oh, it? sure. Now we got to see if you're all right. I don't mind it at all. I like it. I like it. That doesn't bother you? No, not at all. Nothing? No, I don't mind. Well, forget it. Get off the couch. <laughs> You miss me? Huh? You did. Well, look, now, here's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, whenever... you got to tell me everything I do in the hospital. You're supposed to. Whenever the patients call you, you run and see what they want. Is that right, nurse? Sure. And now, listen, and you always got to keep everything clean, all the pots and the pans. Is that right? Sure. And whenever anybody's seen, put it in the mirror. Is that right? That's <laughs> sure. Any questions? No, I understand everything perfectly, Doctor. Good. When any, any of the patients, they want anything, I must give it to them right away. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> and in case something is wrong, they want something, I must run quick like a bunny and get it. Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> and when they want me, I must be on call every minute of the day to be a full-fledged doctor of this hospital. <laughs> Ain't that right, baby? <laughs> Okay, now look here. You can't be doing things. It's the first time I kissed a girl, Doctor, I swear. I've never kissed a girl before. I'm just young. I'm starting out in the world. If I told you I was happy, what more could I say? <laughs> oh, get away from me. Oh, a patient, yes. Excuse me, uh, Dr. Martin, I cut my finger with a scalpel. Could you take Oh, he cut his me? finger. Oh, well, please, yeah. Doctor. May I take this as my first case, sir? I will try my best to help him out. I think this is a definite metaphorvis of the arm. And if in the event the bloodstream circulates, he may have a burn attached. No, this happens to be a criminal who has a lot of his courtesy. Well, I can take care of it, sir. Aren't okay. It? All right. Excuse I'm me. Guard. This it doesn't look too bad. I, I just want to see how it'll do, see? Just a little iodine, that's all. Got to bandage it and keep it very secure because this is very important that nothing happens to the arm. In the event it does turn around here, so that not, just keep turning. Yeah, we keep the arm nice and clean, and nothing will happen to the rest of the body so that you don't have any falsehood coming from the side of the whole bandage, and it'll be kept nice and clean. <laughs> I just try to help him. Well, you 
shouldn't do like things to help anybody like that. Now, come here, get some plastic medicine. Sebastian, let me get started. Here you are. Lay still. Lay still. Lay still. Oh, here's the next patient. Next patient, what does he get? Well, I don't know. Breathe in. Breathe in. And now, how do you feel today, Mr. Malaclay? I'm in terrible pain. Terrible pain? Terrible pain. Oh, we gave him too many sedatives yesterday. We can't give any more. How about some soothing music? Yeah, music. 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 Radio. Turn the radio. Oh, this is going to... It'll help. Something to play. Sure. Something to play. Oh! I'm coming out! to a program of modern military music brought to you each week by Honeybug Clippers <laughs> on station WRST at the bottom of your radio dial. Today's martial music was great for you by the Osborne Symphony Orchestra I feel very unnerved, very, very untentioned. I'm very, very upset. Well, why don't you get yourself a sedative? A sedative? Yes. Yeah, I think I will. All right. Oh, I'm very upset. <laughs> Hello, Mr. everybody. This is Marco Daniels with another charming guest who is going to tell you about fashions for this summer and how Palm Olive's 14-day plan fits into your fashion picture. Meet Miss Louise Hutchinson, well-known fashion coordinator and stylist. Hello, everyone. Louise, what is the fashion scoop for this summer? Well, naturally, cottons are going to be big again, and linens and shantongs will be more popular than ever. The big colors will be yellow, pink, and beige, to show off your nice suntans. And that reminds me, I just want to say that the prettiest clothes in the world can never substitute for a fresh, lovely complexion. Your clothes are certainly very pretty, Louise, and your complexion is lovely. Well, thank you. You know, Mark, I've been a Palm Olive fan for years and years. Before that, you wouldn't have wanted my testimonial. So whenever a model needs complexion advice and asks me my secret, I always tell her about Palm Olive's beauty plan. How about telling us about it right now, Louise? Well, just wash your face three times a day with Palm Olive's pure, fragrant lather, massaging it onto the skin for 60 seconds each time. Then rinse and pat dry. And Palm Olive's so wonderfully mild and gentle, your skin actually feels lovelier. Thank you, Louise. Yes, ladies, doctors prove Palm Olive's beauty results. In test after test, 36 leading skin specialists have proved Palm Olive's Beauty Plan brings lovelier complexions to most women in 14 days. That means you can have a lovelier complexion in 14 days with Palm Olive Soap.
Did you cook a nice turkey dinner? I certainly did, Mr. Martin. Well, that's nice. Delicious okay. turkey. Good. That's but you're late, Mr. Martin. Your company will be here any minute. Well, I was over. I was tied up a little bit over the employment agency. I hired a new valet, you know. Did he get here yet? He sure did. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's what you think. What? Oh. I'm Mr. Martin. What are you? Oh, I'm your new valet, sir. You're my valet? Yes, sir. Hot diggity yes, dog. Yes, yes, sir. I'm your, your gentleman's gentleman, sir. And I'm here to see that everything is just fine and dandy. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> well, what's your name? What's your name? My name is Dudley, sir. Dudley. <laughs> <laughs> they all thought I was going to say Melvin. Melvin? <laughs> If we went... You smell something burning. Burning? What's burning here? What's burning? <gasps> oh, my goodness, I dropped the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I'll have it weaved. Yeah, you'll have it weaved. Hello. <laughs> my, uh, uh, my fiancé is coming over and she's... she's your bringing... fiancé, the girl you're gonna marry? Yeah. Yeah, she's coming over for a dinner and she's bringing her pop and her mop with her. Oh. Mom with her. So I figured, you, you said, have you ever served before? I want you to serve dinner. Have you ever served before? Have I ever served before? I work for the Morgans, the Astors, the Rockefellers, the Birds and the Cleans. And you have the nerve to ask me, have I ever served before? <laughs> have you? Well, no. No. <laughs> I will. Well, all right, that's okay. And you watch it. Would you mind fixing my tie? Oh, not at all, sir. I would like very much to do that so that you will be tidy and neat so when you... No, just one minute. I'll have to get this... Now, oh, Chef, I didn't kill that woman. No, no, sir, no. I just want to fix this tie so that it's very nice and it's very neat. I, I can't seem to get... Dessert. Well, I'll put my... I had my cufflinks here. Yeah, wait, somewhere. just one minute, sir. Let me... No, just, just let me finish the tie, I'm sir. I'm looking for my cufflinks. Yeah, I know. I just want to... I had some cufflinks here. No, let me... No, let me... Well, just yes, one I, second. No, I'll have it finished in a minute, sir. No, I have no, a no, one, one second. No, I have I'll, I'll finish it. <laughs> Hello, Hybe. Yeah, nice. yeah, this is Dudley. Nice time for Hybe to call. What? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, Hybe. Make it short, will you, buddy? Make it short, will you, but He don't even know you. Oh, oh there's my fiance. She's coming in the door. Pick your shirt up. Take everything away. Now watch it. Pick up the ashtray. We're gonna have a party. Take off the laundry. Let's see. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go now. Come on. What? Well, answer the door. Dignity. Dignity. No, my name is Dudley. No. You <laughs> dignity when you are easy, Dudley. Dig, dig, dignity. Dignity. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh, no, we had a here, let the old lady sit over here. Fine, how are you now? Dudley! Dudley, Dudley, where's that? Dudley! Will you go get some martinis? Get some what? You, martinis, you heard of martinis? Sure, the martini. <laughs> No, it came in a basket. Oh, he's so strange. I didn't think. I think the last one will be all right. La 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 you serve the mother first. la 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 Get your foot off there, lady! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Were you brought up in the barn? <laughs> you? 
You forgot the olives? <laughs> Heavens to Betsy, he's right. <laughs> Sweat dripping down now? This is not spit. We're working. <laughs> oh, here's a wishbone. <laughs> hey, isn't that remarkable that you found it in there where I put it? <laughs> Why don't we break it for good luck? What do you say to that, fella? <laughs> It's okay with me. We better hurry. I don't care if you people walking out in the back, but they're beginning to walk towards us. Yeah, let's hurry. Gonna... All right, let's make the wishbone block. Okay. Oh. Pretty hard wishbone, isn't it? <laughs> don't fall, because I'm doing the jokes. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, 
Halo. Halo Shampoo presents the inside story of the Frog Prince. Oh, dear me. I'll never meet my Prince Charming if my hair isn't pretty. It's not shiny, and I've just washed it, too. Weep not, fair lady. I'm going to help you. Help me? But how? First of all, get rid of this stuff. Soaping dolls hair. Halo glorifies it. Let me show you. Halo's not a soap or an oily cream, so it can't leave any dulling soap film. And you don't need a special rinse. Oh, Froggy, it's beautiful. Halo shampoo, Halo. Oh, my Prince Charming. Remember, Halo leaves your hair free of loose dandruff and wonderfully easy to manage. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo shampoo, Halo. If you have a Prince in mind, remember this about shampoos. Soaping dulls hair. But Halo glorifies it. Halo, made with a patented ingredient, needs no special rinse and leaves hair wonderfully easy to manage. Next time, try Halo. America's favorite shampoo. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo shampoo, Halo. Uh, we'd like to say, you know, this is a very fabulous business television. You have to run and change clothes, you carry on, you knock your brains out. The compensation is very, very, very wonderful. You're entertaining an awful lot of wonderful people. People come to see you in the theater. It's amazing how people know so little about it, you know? And, and the people in television don't particularly care to tell people about it because they like it to be sort of a mystery. With me, I don't go for none of this. I don't want people should be disillusioned. Oh, by the way, I want to wish Charlie Brown the very best, a very dear friend of ours, gentleman who we go to stay with at his hotel, Brown's Hotel, in Lock Sheldrake all the time. A very, I worked as a busboy for him, so I thought I'd mention it. By the way, you know, when we work on television, you see this thing here? Look, look, now let me show you what I mean about disillusioning people. I don't like this. I tell Colgate every show, I won't use Ajax if you tell people lies. <laughs> see what it says here, Jerry loves Patty? That's my wife, Patty. I got a beautiful little girl. She's married to me. We have two little kids. Jerky kids, but they're cute. <laughs> and see, underneath there it says, Dean loves Jeannie. <laughs> From before in the first number. See, they want people should think it's a different tree. <laughs> they want them to think they put up a... This ain't even a real tree. This is cardboard. It ain't real. Look over here. See, they have little cards. You think, see, it says here, Jerry loves Patty? This ain't a real tree that costs $3,000. A little cardboard for six cents they make it up. <laughs> See, now Colgate's gonna call me after the show, and they say to me, you shouldn't do these things, you mustn't tell people. So then when I pull out my Colgate tube and say I brush my teeth with it, they like me. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry, where's Jerry? Yo, Jer, I... Oh, <laughs> well, if it isn't the Italian Bruce Cabot, what is it here? <laughs> What is it, Dean? Hurry, because I have many things to take care of before the show's conclusion. <laughs> I'd like to... i like to do another little song, but I didn't rehearse it with Dix to be. You it. didn't rehearse the number, Dean. You've got to get here on time to rehearse your numbers because Dick isn't well. <laughs> well, would you mind conducting this band's number for me? Oh, I'd love to. What tune are you going to do? Tell me. What tune are you going to do? Tell me. What tune are you going to do? Give me a chance. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. All right, what tune? Uh, there's no tomorrow. Is that what you're going to sing now? Yeah. I like it. I, I know. Like it. I know you like it. So we're going to do. Now I'm you don't mind. What do you want to make a bagel cake? I'm going to help. All right. Get me some money too. So we're going to do. There's no tomorrow, and uh, Mr. Uh, Jerry Lewis is going to conduct. So here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Love is a flower It blooms 
arms so tender, each kiss a dewdrop of sweet love is a moment. This moment that an eye Follow me, will you? See how everybody applauds and everything? Yeah. This is wonderful, but you know, I don't like to stand back there and leave the band and you oh, should I be out here. Oh, I sell at 36. Oh, licorice. Ah. Uh. I mean, you, we should be out here together both, you know, like a team and everything. Why don't we do a number together where everybody can see us, you know? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Good luck. Now you show Why us five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Why are we gonna get five minutes worth of material five now? Well, after that, we may talk dieting. <laughs> <laughs> give me Let's, for a second. Uh, come here for a second. Buddy, will you come here? No, just one second. No, wait, no, wait. You're the fella. Come here. <laughs> See the fella with the earphones? This yeah. is the fella who shows us the card. He says, like this. See? 30 seconds. To kill. Then he shows us another card and it says, cut. We gotta listen to him. And when you give us these signs, no, wait, when you give us these signs and you tell us to do things, you get a kick out of it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, get out! All right, let's, let's do... Uh, My father, uh, listen. Let's do a song together. You know, you remember that old, old song called, Baby, It's a Cold Outside? My Shoes. All uh, right. <laughs> well, here's a new number. Here's a new number. Boy. Look, there's a new number that it's called, uh, I, I'm in love. You, well, I like you too, Dean, but no, I mean, no, we... No, no, I'm in love. It's, uh, I'll, you know, you sing a part that goes, uh, 
He's showing me signs again. What is it? It's down to four now? Good. Yeah. You Look, if this guy comes out here uh, and what? he just... <laughs> 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 <Dirty> picture. Oh. <laughs> Just a second, look. Yeah, now, tell me, tell me, hurry, tell me, you tell me. You sing this, you sing. I don't need any because I know it's... You do that and I'll do the slow part. Which part do you do? I hear music. Oh, I, oh, I heard that number. I like that a lot. All right, we'll both do it. All right, let's try it, okay. I What do you think you do? I sang the number. <laughs> I don't need to be there in the Oh, I got it now. I got it. You keep it. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Part, you do mine. Would this be all right, simple? Oh, that would be certainly swell, Cardinal and Keen. I thank you, Aylock, for helping me out. <laughs> okay. You do my part, I'll do yours. Okay, here we okay. go. I hear music and there's no one there. I hear birdies in the wheels are bare. The wheels are bare. I didn't know the why. You got the easy part, no wonder. Oh, all Let's right. That's right, I think I can get it now. Aren't you mixing your cards, buddy? You told you showed me two, then you just showed me three. What, are you got a fast What clock? do we got now? How many minutes? We got two minutes? Lots of luck. Okay. <laughs> Like a team. Like a team? Yeah, not breaking it up. A pretty song everybody likes, like, My Heart to Cry is for You. My shoes. Okay. My heart cries for you, dies for you, dies for you. My heart cries for you. If you're in Arizona and feeling blue, I would like to be there and I. Dancing lightly, I knew you dance. <laughs> I tried to love you, darling. Never knew when I would never linger. Why, my darling, don't you come back to me? My eyes die for you, die for you, die for you. My heart long for you. Dental Cream, Ajax Cleanser, and Palm Olive Soap. 